Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and also into the DXY. So first, before we start, my friends, a big shout out, of course, to our great community here in YouTube and of course, also over on Discord. If you want to join all my channels, check out all the links down below here in the video description, especially the one for Discord. And also here a big warning, we have a lot of scammers and imposters that are copy my name and then uh, answering your questions or your comments with some fake telegrams or WhatsApp chat groups. Those are all scams, only use the official links down below here. Usually I never share any kind of phone, phone numbers or telegram groups because there aren't any. And that's why those are all scams. So this is just a big warning and a big reminder that I will never contact you for any reason or uh, share any uh, phone numbers or things like that. So be smart, don't get scammed and only use the official links that you find in the video description and not in the comment sections. And um, yeah, another thing that I want to remind you is here this uh, Bybit uh, Victor's Bounty here. I didn't even realize that it was this uh, promotion. So if you're interested in this promotion and especially if you're trading over on a Bybit, then make sure to claim these free bonus uh, and coupon codes that you can get here. They are completely for free if you are trading over on a Bybit. Uh, you just have to go here to the promotion site and then choose here this uh, BVB promotion and here uh, you can basically while trading uh, you can just go down here and claim all these free bonus and if you re if you're reaching a, a special uh, amount of uh, trading here then you can get here these spins you just click on them and then you get for example discount here on your fees while you're trading or some bonus coupons uh, and so on so definitely check out this special promotion if you're anyway trading over on bybit and if you still need a bybit account make sure to sign up with my referral link down below here so you support the channel and also get extra bonus if you use my referral link to bybit and now let's get started here with the content my friends uh, if you know this already i have closed my long for now we had yesterday a long open here because we had uh, here a, a buy signal in the three hour time frame and uh, I went long here. I opened it up uh, the first uh, part in the video yesterday. I added a little bit into my position, but right now I have closed it because I want to wait now for confirmation uh, that we are having the previous resistance here at $46,300 as a new support. So my entry price at the end while uh, we were pumping here was also uh, at around 46,000. So to be in profits and to lock in profits, I closed my long for now. That doesn't mean that we're gonna crash now in the opposite. I'm expecting here big continuation to the upside because the breakout here of this falling wedge, the target is now uh, here where we started with this falling wedge. So here at the old all time high here of 48, uh, no, uh, $58,000. So we still have a lot of room left to the upside and I definitely gonna trade this, but I think that here first we need now uh, confirmation that now we have this 46,000 as a new support. And this is where I gonna open up another uh, long position. If the next four hour close will be above $46,000 because we had here a buy signal. We are trading usually the three hour time frame here on the uh, Discord. And to get good entries, we are using here the 15 minute time frame. And you can see here that every time uh, after we're getting here a three hour buy signal, you're longing when the 15 minutes uh, gives a buy signal, you should be doing good here uh, while we are pumping. So this is always uh, good to find good entries here, the 15 minute time frame. And right now in the three hour, the money flow is still negative, but I think uh, this uh, will turn into positive very, very soon because in the lower time frames, especially at the 15 minutes uh, is already looking good here. And um, maybe here we are getting another retest of this uh, 46,000 to 46,500 dollar area. And I think this is then good to go long because here in the 15 minutes, we are again in an uptrend. We are above the EMA ribbons. We are trading above the 200 moving average. So everything is looking fine. We just need this confirmation that we are having now this new support here at around $46,000. 
and uh, I wouldn't have closed my um, long position if we would have enough volume because currently the volume is not very um, nice here we should have with this breakout uh, way more volume kicking in here so I'm not very sure yet if this breakout is really valid so that's why I want to see confirmation first before I gonna open up again another uh, long position because keep also in mind that uh, usually the month of March is always a bearish month usually in Bitcoin we start the year especially January February and March quite bearish or just trading sideways uh, at least in the past so in March I think we are not completely out of the woods yet with this uh, correction or with these uh, dumps that we had so far we this could be all already over of course but usually March is never a very good month so be very careful if you're trading uh, with leverage now during the month of March always lock in profits because um, things can uh, turn around very very quickly uh, but everything right now is looking like that we could see this reversal and this could have been at the bottom yet uh, you can also see that we had your four hour close below the 200 moving average but we didn't confirm the new resistance we came straight back up here and we continued now this uh, pump and it looks like that we still have some room left to the upside also yesterday we had here a bullish divergence in the RSI and with the price action so this played out already and I think we still have a lot of room left to the upside but uh, yeah we still need these confirmations uh, my friends and then of course also we want to see here four hour closes above the Bollinger Bands in the four hour so above this um, $48,800 level in order to have an explosive move to the upside towards $58,000 because currently we are facing a lot of resistance here this area of around 48,000 is now a huge resistance and that's why we, we are right now in a very critical point if we are able to push higher here and create a support above 48,000 then we should be good to go here for this breakout towards the all-time high here of 58,000 but if here we're getting again rejected and we cannot confirm 46,000 as a new support we might go towards the 50 daily moving average which currently is uh, here uh, let me quickly see uh, right at uh, $41,300 so more or less at $42,000 which was also our previous target of this dump and uh, you can also see the 9 and 20 daily moving average right at $49,300 so it will be also important that we're starting again to close daily candles above this moving average then I think we have the confirmation that the last confirmation that we're gearing up again towards uh, 58,000 and potentially even go higher so as long as we're closing daily candles below these important moving averages here at around $49,500 I think there is still a high chance that we're getting rejected here and we may be gonna squeeze here for the whole month of March between the 50 daily and 20 daily moving average so between 42 to $50,000 and another good thing is that here we could get very very soon a buy signal same like in the last bigger correction so as soon as here we are getting a buy signal in the daily I think there I'm I gonna go all in again and start to scale in some nice longs wherever the price will be because once we're getting here another buy signal you can see this also here in the past this always acted as a very good uh, long opportunity and uh, yeah then you can ride it up towards at least 58,000 potentially even way higher because I think as soon as we're gonna break here this 58,000 the target will be between 75 to 98,000 dollar why those targets we're gonna have a look at that uh, later on in the monthly time frame and now let's go over into the weekly time frame because of course we had a very bad weekly close uh, uh, yesterday um, it's not too bad I mean we are still above the nine weekly moving average and also this moving average right now is here at $42,000 so I think here we're gonna have a bounce definitely a bounce at 42 in the worst case scenario that we're gonna close a weekly candle below this time weekly moving a moving average or even go lower then I think here the 20 weekly should save us here above uh, $30,000 uh, so this is the worst case scenario if we're gonna lose the $42,000 support I don't think that, that this is very likely I don't think it will happen but just keep this price level in mind here for the worst case scenario especially if you're trading here on Bybit with leverage and uh, if we go now over into the monthly time frame and um, let's take here the um, logarithmic growth curves and zones yeah 
here you can see that we are still in this uh, yellow zone. So if we're gonna see a breakout here to the upside, my target is here to reach these uh, 75 potentially, these uh, $98,000. Of course, the more time passes, the higher this red zone is growing. And uh, usually in this red zone, it is always good to take some profits. Even though the Bitcoin price could go way above 100K uh, during this year, if we are going straight up here towards 100K, I think this area here is a good time to take some profits just to be ready that if here we are getting rejected and we are not able to push higher than this uh, uh, zone here that we can rebuy back in if we're gonna see a major correction back down towards the yellow zone or maybe even down towards the green zone here between 23 to $15,000 because this red zone in the past always acted as a very strong resistance and always was a good take profit zone although in the last cycles and um, here you can also see the month of uh, um, March of course 2020 was very bad we had here this huge crash not only in the bitcoin price but also in the stock market and if we go a bit um, back in the past here this uh, this month here i think is an exception because here we came already from a big crash so we were recovering here so this was i think like the only uh, month of march that was in green and if we go a little bit further back in time this was in 2018 also march big crash down uh, but this was right after our blow off top here in 2017 um, if we go back into this bull market from 2016 to 2017 you can see that also march here was a red candle we came very close to the nine monthly moving average and um, you can go also a bit back here this also was a a red candle in 2016 March we came also very close to the nine monthly moving average so March usually is never a good month it doesn't mean that you have to sell now and rebuy back in cheaper I wouldn't do that I think that is the worst idea to do uh, just huddle my friends during the month of March and if we're gonna see a correction just buy more with fresh fiat so let's hope that this month is going to be a good month that we're going to see a big push to the upside towards this uh, red zone uh, otherwise if we are coming down potentially even towards a nine monthly moving average which right now is at twenty five thousand dollar if we're going to see um, the history repeating here with this month and we're coming close to the nine monthly moving average we would come even down here towards twenty five thousand dollar if it is likely i don't think so but based uh, into the history that we have seen right now it is possible i will not trade it based on that but just keep in mind that we could even drop if we're gonna see here a big red candle during the month of march that we could drop even down here towards twenty five thousand dollar based on in the history that we have seen right now but otherwise everything is still looking like that we're gonna see continuation to the upside and i think the the bullish scenario that we could reach here this red zone here maybe even this month or latest in the middle of the year is uh, way more likelier and um, yeah now let's go back to the four hour and have a look into the ethereum price let's see if ethereum is also pumping because uh, uh wait we have to remove this uh yeah all the ethereum is moving same like bitcoin we're having now this uh breakout to the upside same like we had in uh, bitcoin so usually ethereum is always following uh, bitcoin or vice versa and uh, that's why I'm also pretty bullish here that we're gonna see continuation at least towards here the 200 moving average at 1640 uh, same like Bitcoin at 48,000 where here we could get some resistance and then we're gonna see what will happen if we're able able to push through or not I think it is very likely that here we're gonna break through higher in the Ethereum price and also in the Bitcoin price and uh, if Ethereum is able uh, to push uh, towards uh, the target which uh, in a falling wedge is always the um, top of the falling wedge, then this should be at around, let me quickly look here, at around yeah, 1,970. If we are able to push higher here, meet our target up here. And I think it is very likely that if Bitcoin is reaching 58,000 again, that Ethereum will also come towards these levels and potentially even go way higher than. And if we have a look into the daily time frame here, you can see that currently we are fighting with the 50 daily moving average and the nine daily is right here at our 
a potential resistance at around $1,600. So that's why my friends, be very careful if you're in a long position, put always stop losses in profits because we are not completely out of the woods yet, not in Bitcoin and not in Ethereum. This um, breather here, this pump was expected, but uh, how the performance will be now of this breakout to the upside is still in the cards and we have a lot of resistance above of us. So at the end, uh, we are only safe once we are uh, above $1,800 here in Ethereum. And the same goes also for Bitcoin. If we are able to go again above $50,000 and start to close daily candles above so if you want to trade the safe way, you will need to wait until we are confirming again uh, these possible resistances as a new support. Same for Bitcoin and also for Ethereum. But what we are seeing right now is the first step into this big breakout to the upside and this big reversal, which in my opinion is very likely that it's happening right now. Because also here in the Ethereum chart, we could have a buy signal very, very soon. And you definitely want to trade this breakout to the upside, not only in the Bitcoin price, but also in Ethereum. If here we're going to get here a buy signal and also confirmation that the previous resistance is now new support. And in Ethereum, uh, this is right here at around $1,400. If you want to wait here for confirmation, if we're going to close this four hour candle here at 1,500 and the next four hour candle is also going to close above 1,400, then I think we're good to go long also here in Ethereum. So everything is still looking pretty bullish, my friends. I think we are good to go long, but for myself, I just want to get this confirmation that 46,000 is the new support. And based on the 15 minute time frame, I think we could easily also here come back down again to retest the 200 moving average right at our support at around $46,000. And if here we're gonna have confirmation uh, that 46,000 is new support, we are good to go long if you still look for good entries. And uh, we can also have a look now into the DXY. Where did I put it here? Um, the DXY, let's go over into the four hour. Had here this uh, breakout out of this falling wedge as well. And also the DXY currently is in an uptrend here in the four hour time frame. If it's going to be sustainable, I don't think so. But at least right now we are seeing this breakout and we are coming to our resistance here, the 100 daily moving average right at $91.40. This also acted as a very huge resistance here in the past. Every time we broke out uh, from a bullish pattern and there we always got rejected. And you can also see that the 200 daily moving average is coming very close here at $93. So only if the DXY is able to go towards the 200 daily moving average. So if we are able to break this huge resistance that we had now a couple of times, then I think we could see such a bigger correction in the Bitcoin price and also in the stock market. But if here we're getting again rejected and we're going to continue to fall lower, so below $90, uh, then of course we're going to continue the parabolic moves uh, in the Bitcoin price, uh, in Ethereum and of course also in the stock market. All right, my friends, and then with that said, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. Also a big shout out to our great crypto community over on Discord. If you want to join it, click here the invitation link that you find in the video description. Go here to read first, confirm that you're a human and not a bot by clicking this thumbs up button. And then you have free access to our uh, great crypto trading chat. And um, if you want to get access to the live stream indicator or you want the indicator for your trading view, then you have to contact me here with a private message. Just, just click here into my name here with a right click and then send me a message, a private message, because to get access to it, you need to give a little donation, of course, to support the channel and then you will get access uh, to it. So thank you again very much uh, for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.